Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Siri on the new fifth generation iPod Touch. And if you guys haven't seen my other two recent videos, being my fifth generation iPod Touch unboxing and my iPod Touch loop review video, just be sure to check those out. Now I do detail a fifth generation iPod Touch giveaway I'm holding in my unboxing video. So if you guys want complete details on that, just be sure to view that video. Again, you can gain entries in this video and I'll go over that more towards the end. All right, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and take Take a look at Siri. Now I'm just going to show you guys how fast Siri performs on the new iPod Touch and how it actually accomplishes tasks. Now, as many of you know, this is the first iPod Touch to officially support the virtual personal assistant from Apple. Now, of course, while there are workarounds to get Siri on the fourth generation iPod Touch, again, like I said, this is the first iPod Touch to officially support Siri from Apple. And now, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, to activate Siri, all you have to do is simply hold down the home button. Hello, Siri. Hi there, Tanner. All right, so as you can see, it does translate what I'm saying fairly fast, and it brings back the result quickly as well. Now let's go ahead and just ask some typical questions that you'd normally ask through Siri. So let's first start off with a simple math problem. What's 326 minus 483? This might answer your question. So as you can see, just like on the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5, as well as the third generation iPad, it brings back these type of answers using Wolfram Alpha. So let's go ahead and ask some other questions. Find movies starring Johnny Depp. And as you can see, it didn't actually translate that one correctly, so let's go ahead and ask again. Find movies starring Johnny Depp. All right, and there we go. Okay, now of course, if you want more information on any of the movies, all you have to do is simply tap on it. You have a Rotten Tomato score, you have a synopsis, you have who it's starring, the director, as well as the title, and also you can actually buy it on iTunes if you want, or you can view the trailer just like that. So let's go ahead and cancel out of that, and let's ask a few other questions really quick. What was the Lakers recent score? The Lakers were down by the Trail Blazers yesterday. The final score was 93 to 75. Okay, so as you can see, there's an example of sports. All right, and let's just do one last thing. Let's just have it search Google. Google best tech info. Searching Google for best tech info. All right, so as you can see, again, Siri does work pretty fast on the new fifth generation iPod Touch. It's not quite as fast as on the iPhone 5, but it's still fast for an iPod Touch. Of course, this all depends on how fast your internet speed is too. Again, I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network, obviously, because we are on the iPod Touch, but if you have a slower Wi-Fi network, it might not be as fast as the actual examples in this video. Also, don't forget, like I said, if you want a chance to win a new fifth generation iPod Touch, just be sure to rate this video or any of my videos up and leave a comment down below in the comment section with the key phrase, iPod Touch 5G, ICU, and you will be entered as long as you're subscribed. So with that said, if you aren't subscribed, just be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to stay tuned for additional videos pertaining to the new fifth generation iPod Touch. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.